All right, welcome to the stream. Uh, although we just heard a few noises from the food. We'll see if this one catches or not. <laughs> we are at 15 seconds. This is our shortest, our shortest stream yet. Let me check on him. You want to explain the game? I'll explain the game. Yeah, so Pia and I are going to be playing Herbaceous today. Um, and um, it is a little game where we collect these um, herbs and we put them into different pots. So we each have four pots. Each pot can only be used once and they are classic card game uh, set collection type stuff. So we got uh, over here all of the same. So we, you can collect all the same cards, so up to seven, let's say, sages. We put seven sages under this pot, and that's going to get you 22 points. And there's a little uh, reference on here. So if I only had one sage I put in there, it would give me two points. Um, we also have a glass jar. So that's this, those are the special herbs, the extra rare herbs go in there. And only needs to, it can only hold three cards. Um, and uh, if you get a certain set of uh, of cards, then you can also get this 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 herb biscuit, the herb biscuit, which is fun. The art in this game is is really just great. Uh, it's very pleasing. Um, the other cards is this one is you know all different herbs so you can have up to seven cards in this one but they all have to be different and then the final one over here is pears so you know two sages two rosemaries two uh, lavenders and then they they go in this one so that's our goal uh, we want to fill each of these pots as full as possible and we're competing to do that on a turn what you do is you grab a card and you, either, you place it in front of yourself, uh, face up, and then you grab another card and you place it in the community garden. So we both have access to everything in the community garden. Uh, you get to look at the card and choose whether or not you put it in the community garden or in front of yourself. So you can do the opposite of that, where the first card goes into the community garden and the second card goes into your private garden. Um, so, that's pretty much the whole game. You're just choosing which cards to offer to the table and which cards you're going to try to keep for yourself, and you're trying to make these sets. At the beginning of your turn, you have the opportunity to put uh, as many um, herbs in one jar as you want. So it's kind of a push your luck thing, like how long can I go before I have the, just the right stuff? And um, I get to place them all in one of these jars. Um, because if Pia puts those in the jar, then she will be taking cards that I want that are in the middle. It didn't quite make sense to me initially until we played like a few rounds and someone put like their first item in the, con or their first herbs in the container. Mm -hmm. So we should reset the, reset the clock here. We're back to zero. We'll I'm ready how... for a very, um, uh, like, very decisive moves that I'm going to be making. <laughs> because we don't have much time. Yeah. Which is, I mean, it's the reason why I picked it is it's a 20 minute game. So yeah. I think I think you can nap for 20 minutes. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I'm already grabbing a card. Okay, and then why not? We've made some tea to drink with this as well. You got some peppermint green, mm. and I, well, Andrew's only one that's tea. I have coffee. Ooh, our good friend Rosemary, we said we'd be playing with her. Uh, she's an older lady an older that man. joins us uh, for meals sometimes and for this game. Yeah. I don't know if we she's in a, any other games. We have a really good um, chicken and rosemary um, um, recipe that we like. It is so good. It is is uh, the chicken thigh and it's pressed. In down. theory, it's called like um, chicken on under a brick or something like that. Technically it's a brick, but we just use cast iron and a bunch of like other heavy, a cast iron pan and other heavy objects. So it can be pretty quick. 
Yeah, it makes the chicken crispy, uh, the outside of the chicken, and then with the rosemary that goes on top of it, it is very, very good. Speaking of rose, you know, never let, never let Rose go to the community garden because she doesn't come back. If you can avoid it, oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, hold on. So but I these are special. These are special. Oh, ones, so, they, so they don't they can't, go in. Yeah, oh, they can't bummer. go into any other. But it's just the glass jar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, this is where the push your luck part comes don't do in. Do it. Six. Six is twenty. That's really good. I'm, yeah, but you can get seven. That's two more. I'm. I'm. This is a quick game. Aragon, dill, She was never going to get seven if she waited because I was going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to manipulate the situation. Lavender I waited too long. And sage. I was really nervous you were going to take that. Okay. Hey, we have a viewer. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. The baby has already woken one time, so time is limited. The time is very limited. And then you can take your turn. Oh, yeah. So you grab, you pot it in the container, and then you... Okay. One. Yeah, there's no that. rosemary in that pot. She does not like your pot. <laughs> um, what do we got here? I do think I want to try and make a scone. Um, this is the second time scones have been talked about this morning or today. I feel like I want to make one. Okay. Mm. We got our uh, we got our tea that we're drinking. We got some mint tea to kind of set the mood. I feel like saffron should be a higher point value because saffron's one of the most expensive herbs. It's not even a special one. We've got thyme and chives. That's why I was saying. One. Yeah. Like they sell those like little it, like it's in, it comes in a little vial of saffron um, threads. I think is the term they use. game right now it's a very tough choices mm, let's see I don't want to pot anything so I definitely want to grab oh shoot all right I am potting one lavender rosemary tarragon Ooh. Saffron, the dill, one, two, three, four, five, um, the bay, and the sage, six there. Oh, wow. For the <laughs> unique? Yeah. All unique. Mm. I do also like... Oh, you put that under the wrong one. That's for oh, this sorry. one here. Oh, all unique. That makes sense. And the picture, the design, the picture, if I looked at it, is a hint. Because this is the piece, this is the card that has two plants. Because this one is like pears. This is all unique. And then this is all a single one. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Also, for, uh, for our viewer, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, Feel free, you know, if you got someone in the house to grab a card game and play along with us. The play along meaning play play at the same si time. simultaneously something else or this game if you have it. Yeah. A little parallel play, yeah. um, which is what preschoolers do, but adults can do it as well. <laughs> um, uh -huh. mm, I see. Uh, Ruel Gaviola uh, of. On Twitch and, and other things, he always talks about board games. Uh, board game streams being. Oh, I'm gonna finish. The no! Oh my gosh! I should have. The gone glass and... jar with the best part of the game. Oh. The herb biscuit. That looks Yum. so good. Herb biscuit was. This is what I like won to imagine. The game last time. Herb butter. <laughs> Man, I could have grabbed that. Wait. I actually have a question. Could I have grabbed that with yeah. with three, even though they're not all different? Mm -hmm. Oh, 
You well, no, you wouldn't get the biscuit though. Yeah. You would just have gotten those. You grabbed those oh, okay, cards. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, it's. Oh, still your turn. Still turn. Putting the um, um, the herbs in the containers is a separate um, action, which I always forget. Definitely made the right choice there. Not giving Pia this bay leaf over here. <laughs> um. Uh oh. Oh no, I think this uh -oh. is the end of it. Where are we here? This is the end of it. Oh no, if we end here, Andrew's probably gonna win. Go back to sleep, child. Okay, <laughs> your turn. The thing is, this is a really quick... We picked it because it's quick, but we also picked it because the turns um, can go... Like, it goes back and forth very quickly, so... Someone um, going in to check in on him. It's a little bit harder to. Like someone can run back there, but it's mm -hmm. like gonna be their turn immediately once once they get there. Babies are weird because they'll cry out and then they will just be fine sometimes. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pot the plants, the pears. Dang it. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous. Okay, <laughs> sage for two, two lavender. Or do I have to use one from the community to, garden? Yeah. Okay. And then two saffron. So mean. I do and like. two rosemary. Okay. I like imagining that there's these two, I don't know why they have to be ladies, old people uh, that, uh, you know, both have their private gardens, but then they also go to the same community garden and they just like really spitefully garden uh and they're always grabbing things from each other to bring home okay <laughs> um yeah i like how this one's like private garden <laughs> there should be a little one that says community garden that would be nice this would be a good one for playing at a coffee shop because it's really requires not a whole lot of um table space Set up super fast as well. You just shuffle the deck and then remove some cards for two players. It plays up to four. I, I wonder how... It plays really well at two, but I do wonder how it, it goes at four. Okay. I'm done. A lot of cards over there. Yeah, one of the first times we played like a new or modern board game actually was with my cousin and they recently had a kid and they um I'm gonna decide I'm gonna do the special Ooh, herbs. Yeah. So I'm gonna take three, three and two. Because I can only do three in there, right? Mm hmm Okay. Um and it was actually Monopoly Go that they played and I really liked that idea because they said that they just wanted to do, they wanted to um, have an alternative. Oops, I totally lied. Or not totally lied. I oh, totally this grabbed box two. is totally in your view. Huh. I grabbed this. Um, you cheat? I accidentally cheated. Um, actually, that it doesn't really, I, it sort of matters, but. How does this one matter? The, um... <laughs> just want to know when I lose. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, I'm doing my pairs. Okay. Tarragon. Did you grab a card from there? Was this... It was there. It was out there. I thought I had another pair out there, but that's okay. One pair, two pairs, three pairs. Check the... Pairs. Check the video. No, I think this Double is right. check this the... Right. <laughs> um, but anyways, they um, played Monopoly Go, which I'd never... Se well, I've never played Monopoly, um, and I didn't know that there were adaptations of um, various, I don't know, board game IPs. But it was really cool to... Um, they said that they picked a game, like, hey, short card games. Ruel's here. Hey, Ruel! 
Uh, Cheers. We were just talking about you earlier. <laughs> how Hopefully. we like your your um, your encouragement to everyone to play a game while someone's streaming, which I really like because I grew up in a noisy household. So <laughs> having background of other people talking and playing is is comforting and um, home like to me. <laughs> but anyways, my um, my cousin they played um, Monopoly Go during their kids nap. Um, and they just did it because it was a nice alternative to always watching a 24 minute show. Um, not to say that shows are bad, but games are a little bit more active. Um, and I, I remember that I think it was like, I think I was like 20 at that time. Uh, there was still all, many years between getting, um, or having a kid, getting married and having a kid. But I really was, liked that idea. It was that and Rivals of Catan that we would play. Uh, he said, oh, my ears were burning. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here's my question. Once so it's all it, gone... Yeah, it's gone, okay. so now you, all you can do is pot plants. So. All right, well, I have all the bay leaves, which is funny. I was going to say that... Um, oh, that's going to win it for you, I think. The bay leaves... Um, uh, my cousin Josh did a guess what I'm making, and it was like meat and peppercorns and bay leaves. Um, and anyone who is Filipino would know that that's obviously adobo, but <laughs> people were responding. They're like, are you, are you testing your non-Filipino friends? Um, but bay leaf is a big, important spice in there. Okay. Burrell says he's playing backgammon online right now. All right. Yes. Thank you for joining us and playing with us. We are 13 minutes in. We've already had one interruption and a couple like cry outs that didn't turn into anything. They um, didn't stick. So, yeah. so we're going to score up our points here. Okay. Um, I have a question for scoring. Mm -hmm. when, actually, you're doing the same scoring, so. So let's do our pairs first. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four pairs. So that is going to be 14 points. Oh, okay. So it's it's by, okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're neck and neck. We're both 14 points Yep. There. Okay, let's do our, our differences. I think we have the same here. One, two, four, three, four, five, six, seven, Ooh, I have seven. I have six. Over oh, 14. Oh no, okay. So I'm at this is bad. The, the biscuits, I'm gonna lose because of the biscuit. <laughs> so I have six plus five, which is 11. I have six. 39. Seven, eight. I have eight here. I stopped, I stopped paying attention to my total score because when I. <laughs> you were two heard, down for this one. No, not two down. Oh, yes, two down oh, yeah. for a score. And this is six, seven, eight. Six. Oh man. Um I'm so nervous. and then um the last one I've just got six. So what did I say? Thirty nine, thirty five. Thirty five. I got fourteen here. Fourteen. So, mm -hmm. And actually I, I think we might be doing the herb, the special herbs a little bit wrong. You actually, I think, get these points at the top as well. So you get <gasps> you get the really? six plus the numbers. So this would be uh, five, six plus six, so twelve plus five is seventeen. Oh no, uh, I've Ruel, lost. if you pay attention to that, <laughs> uh, he's playing backgammon. Yeah, I'll let you play backgammon. <laughs> I can look that one up. Um, okay, wait. Now I actually have to pay attention to my my score because I the rules are um, right over there actually. Oh, where? Um, here. Oh. I'm just noticing this now, which we uh, we played we, wrong last time. Yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> this is the stream where we make well, the chat figure out our score for us. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, that is the way you do it. Okay, so I had 39 uh, up until this point, plus six more, 35, plus six more, or 45, 51. Okay, I'm just gonna type it because I feel like <laughs> when I was trying to math it out. 
all your numbers. Ruel says, "LOL, I love it when chat can help me with rules. I'm so forgetful. I know. I th- I don't think we've played a game correctly <laughs> so far." <laughs> and he says, uh, "Yeah, he thinks I'm right for for the special herbs." And then this, I had six. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's twelve. The best was a game we played the other day where <laughs> the designer showed up and. You know, we were so pumped to have the designer on the stream, and he was excited to see us playing. He didn't say anything, but after he left, we realized we were playing a big rule incorrectly, <laughs> which shame on us. But This is a stream that plays games incorrectly, especially <laughs> when the designer drops by. Um, we, should, we should rename our stream to... Uh, <laughs> Fumbling play, through. Fumbling. <laughs> playing how, incorrectly. Play, how Teaching to pl- games... How- how to play incorrectly and still have fun. That's <laughs> <laughs> and then this is a one. Two, um, it was a little four. co-op game called Strike, a game of worker rebellion. Um, oh, you got 54. Ooh, can I use that? Because I said my score, and I think it's very close to that. Um, so the game is called Strike, um, um, a game of worker rebellion, and it's... Um, it's a uh, very pandemic esque, um, and you fight this evil mega corporation called Happy Corp. And there's fifty one. <gasps> you won? Yes! No way! It was your bay leaves. Yes. <laughs> they knew I was making adobo. That's four bay leaves. That that would be really strong. Heavy on the bay leaf if you <laughs> made that many. Oh wow! And. The ultimate winner is us because we finished the game, which is hooray for short games. I feel yeah. like there's always. Um, do you want to go for a second round? Yeah, let's do it. There's always. Um, I feel like I feel pressure to play a long game, just because we have a lot of them. Um, I mean, we have a lot of short games too. <laughs> he says bonus points for extra vinegar. We'll <laughs> rename the uh, the biscuit card here. Uh, the uh, the the vinegar card. <laughs> Um, yeah, but uh, it was a Kickstarter that, and you bought it completely off of theme. Um, Pretty much, yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was kind of during when Kickstarter was was going on strike and trying to unionize. unionize. So I don't know if they designed the game that quickly to get posted during that time, or if it just happened to coincide with it. But yeah, it was just about like, worker rights and stuff, and. Uh, Labor movement. Labor movement. So mm-hmm. a pandemic-ish game that has a theme that's pretty positive uh, was was a fun one. It's not even ranked on Board Game Geek, which um, I didn't realize be. it. It should be. Yeah. Hopefully. How does it? How does something become like get on Board Game Geek? Um, well, it's on Board Game Geek. It doesn't have a like a, a ranking. I think it just oh. means it doesn't have enough reviews or. Oh, got it. I'm not sure the exact formula that goes into that. I thought it was like IMDb where you can just like go in and like, <laughs> or not IMDb. I guess IMDb does have a feature where you can go in and like suggest things or like, hey, I'm, I should be credited. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say Wikipedia, but yeah, no, people can edit them. Um, I don't know why it, it, it's a good game. So it's. Um... Yeah, I I feel like if I was like a social studies teacher, um, it would be. I, for a moment, I said, you could play it for indoor recess, but I don't think social studies teachers at, like, the middle school, high school level. Actually, you know what? Because I was a big indoor kid, I feel like I would definitely, like, play a board game during lunchtime in a teacher's, like, room. Probably, mm-hmm. like, a social studies or an English teacher. Language arts. <laughs> I, that, that's, that could be my review. It's like, um, if you're a teacher who... Uh, you know, or a history teacher, if they're teaching about like the labor movement. Anyways, you just went. I oh, know you can keep talking about those. Oh no, I gotta focus on my, on my mood <laughs> here. Real says indoor recess was the best. <laughs> I loved indoor recess too. My memory of indoor recess was just getting WWF moves done on me on the wrestling mats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you had indoor recess. You in um. In like your gym, but we had indoor recess in our classroom. I remember you telling oh. me about getting WWF 
moves done on you. And I couldn't imagine that being allowed in your, in your classroom. Well, or even in the, I don't know if the gym would be any safer. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, I don't know how safe or clean it was. It was these, these nasty, like, uh, like tumbling mats, but they were like old style tumbling mats. So they were lumpy. Um, and, oh, that's uh, interesting. Like not were, the blue ones. Not the, the blue ones. It was yeah. like off brand ones. And <laughs> I don't know why that's so clear in my mind. They were gray. <laughs> And we would, and my friend would be like, and then let me show you this move. I was like, okay. <laughs> then I'd just be in pain. Just thrash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, what do we got going on here? This game also kind of reminds me of the documentary we watched on NHK, which is the, it's a Japanese, like, it's basically BBC for Japan. Um, and it just has some of the best, really pleasant, heartwarming documentaries. Oftentimes the ones we watch are about um, various, um, like, masters of their craft. So there was someone who we just watched was... Um, like a master tea ceremony, um, I don't know how to, like host, I guess is the term. She um, did cha chajis, I don't, um, C-H-J-I-E, but she would do them for different people from different social strata because it was a, um, like a dying art form. And one of the things I remember she was like digging, she was like just foraging for various herbs um, cause she wanted to get them like of the season, which is really cool. And when we were watching, I was like, that's parsley. And then uh, the, for the rest of it, I didn't know what else she was grabbing. Um, various like spring onions that were like, she was digging in snow. It was pretty cool <laughs> and very pleasant. Like this game. Uh, what did you pot? My pears. Doubles, my pears. Oh, I was thinking about that. I just felt like I wasn't, it's I wasn't so hard to know position. when to do it. <laughs> <sighs> Go, go, go. Move, move, move. This game should be like really relaxed, but I think <laughs> with, the, with the baby napping, it's hard because it should be. Oh, hold yeah, on. I just gave that to you. Yeah, I almost. Uh, I shouldn't have grabbed the saffron. Why pears? did I do it? The pears. Where's the pear one? Is this the pear one? So that would give you one, two, three. So six pairs. Oh, um, it, no. the, the channel is NHK. It's actually an app you can download. Um, but it's on like cable as well. But yeah, the app a... provides free like like st free shows, like 40-minute shows of documentaries and whatnot. Yeah, they're all super chill, super re uh, relaxing. Um... And even the ones that are not chill, I feel like the interesting part is because it's done by a Japanese network, but oftentimes the ones, the shows that are posted on the app are um, produced either by like a Japanese American or some sort of like, they're thinking about the American audience. It, it like, you get just news or topics that you wouldn't expect at all. Um, one thing you watched was improv in China Mm -hmm. um, an improv troupe in China. And I was like, man, I, a news, an American news source wouldn't like cover this topic. Yeah. Or... It was so fascinating because it was, cause you know, you improv is, you know, purely a comedy here, uh, a, a com comedic thing, but there comedic, it was um, like, expression. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But in China they were using it for like emotional catharsis, uh, where someone would come up and tell their story and they they would say, you know, oh, I just survived cancer. It was like really serious stuff. And they would imp and they were like, I survived cancer, but my, my, I didn't feel supported by my parents or something, something super intense. And then they would, uh, improv that story, which that scene, that scene, which like from an American lens, it's like, this is just a, uh, a, a ripe, 
thing for problematic, uh, hurtful things, but like it was because of the way uh, people express emotions in Chinese culture. Um, it's much more reserved. It uh, felt very catharsis, cathartic for the people who were going to see it, and they wanted that. Uh, so it was just fascinating. But anyways, NHK got a lot of really interesting stuff on there. Okay. We also have another viewer, so welcome to the stream. Um, we're talking about documentaries <laughs> through the app NHK, a Japanese news site. Mm -hmm. um, um, but Andrew studied Chinese... Um, Chinese history or Chinese culture and Chinese just, language. Chinese studies. Chinese was studies was big, his major. Yeah, one so big category. It was extra interesting. It was also interesting. Just um, we were just using MHK to follow um, various global, um, like even COVID. Their their coverage is just um, different in the same way that like um, any other network that's outside of the U.S. would cover it differently as well. You went? Yeah. Okay. Got uh, our, our favorite friend, Rosemary, here. The, um, I love it when she visits. She smells so good. <laughs> I like lavender the best, actually. Oop. Okay. Um, this is a game called Herbaceous. All right, we lost one our to four. The, the other person. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't engaging in ah, We like, were just t taking cards silently. <laughs> They were like, we don't want to hear about documentaries, no. <laughs> but I do have to, I feel like, um, trying to remember to, like, talk about what you're doing is an interesting, um, an interesting thing about streaming. Because usually, once we're going, I'm, I'm, like, thinking too much about, about the game. I mean, this is definitely a game with good talkability. You can yeah. chat through. That is something I look for in a game. <laughs> oh no. So here's the interesting thing. We usually don't... Um, we're really bad at replaying games. Just because we have a lot of games. And I am very motivated at trying to get through as many of the the unplayed games as possible, but it has been really fun to, um, because we challenged ourselves to stream during naps, um, I feel like um, we've been able to replay games and I can start developing better strategy. Specifically, I can like figure out defensive moves, which usually I'm not thinking about. I'm just trying to get a handle on the rules. Yeah, no, I love re being able to replay games, which is, for my other love, buying games. Uh, <laughs> Collecting they're competing, games. They're, they're competing. They're co competing into loves. <laughs> One, two. I'm going to do it. Mm, yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to go. I, I feel like it's not fair if I grab it from the community and then still have it here. You know? This is what I'm saying. It's these two curmudgeon old people in the community garden. They're like, oh, Roger's going for the dill. And yeah, I've, I've got a dill recipe. I've got <laughs> <laughs> Lavender, dill, tarragon, bay, sage, and rosemary. Okay. Uh, Ruel says, I love replaying games, but never have the time. Seems like there's always something new to play. Mm -hmm. uh, and yes, buying games. The struggle is real. <laughs> it really is. It really Very is. Very relatable statement. <laughs> uh, yeah, the only time we get a lot of replay is when we bring a bunch of games to my family in the Philippines because we just fill our um, luggage with, um, with games. My cousins have messaged me and they're like, don't bring clothes, just bring games. <laughs> and we, they just give us clothes. I mean, we're, we live in the Pacific Northwest, so we don't have a lot of summer clothes anyways. Um, is it my turn? Mm -hmm. um, so we will just bring a bunch of games. And then we get to replay it a lot because it's basically like be, we go to my grandpa's farm and then just have um, a grand old time um, it really is heaven on earth. We it's like the whole family descends every couple of years to the farm and 
all the cousins love games, or at least anyone who don't don't speak up. And uh, well, they love it, and also they um, they also have the endurance you have. I don't have this the same lo- that that same endurance of just like play a game now, play another game, <laughs> eat a snack, play another game. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, it's it's you it's one to two weeks of just board games, but um, out in you know in the in the jungle farm area uh, that that your Krampus farm is at, and mm-hmm. and it's, it's remote. warm and food is just brought to us, <laughs> <laughs> which I know people are making that, but um, <laughs> it's it's beautiful. But it's also. Um... It's, I think part of it is that it's remote. I mean, there's internet now, um, but we don't have internet there. But it just feels like everyone disconnects and um, just plays. So some of the funniest board game moments, I feel like, has happened there. Just because everyone's on the same page of like, we're all hanging out. We're going to play some board games. You know what? Actually, this makes me feel like the next time we go, we should be bringing some like of these type of games more just because we used to bring like the like 90 minute or like you know two hour type games and a lot of people are like have young kids now and so we need like some shorter games Mm. i was i was just thinking that but your cousins they love the the games with the nice miniatures and the nice components that's true it's hard to say no (laughs) a lot of scythe was played uh ruel says (laughs) Uh, I brought a bunch of games last trip to yeah. Philippines. Yeah, my cousins were so into them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 great. He said he really wanted to go last month, but of course. It oh was canceled. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're crossing our fingers for maybe this. Oh, that's outside. There's a kid yelling outside. <laughs> <laughs> There's kids in the neighborhood. There's that kids are... in the neighborhood. I was like, oh no. They're trying to we're spook done. us. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to spook us. He is sound asleep. I can't believe he was wide awake and smiling at me. And it when you a, went in there? Yeah, I gave him a pacifier and I said a little prayer. <laughs> walked out. And then mm. I won a game. <laughs> your prayers were answered. Please go to sleep and also let me beat your dad. Two, three, four... Oh man, that was gonna be my move. It is neck and neck here. Yeah. Yeah, defensive plays are important. With our third play, with our third play, playing it. (laughs) Can see. It's it's so passive aggressive. It's like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll take some tarragon. Don't need it, but see, <laughs> I can see that you do. Um, let's see. Well, dude, oh, uh, Rael says he's on Amazon right now looking at games. Four. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can help Six, convince me. Seven, I've been trying to uh, convince Pia that we need Rococo Deluxe, uh, <laughs> with the metal coins. Uh, have you had a chance to play that? Yeah, Amazon gift cards, they are they they go quick when they're in my pocket. Five, six. They're different. Okay. You're gonna you're gonna <laughs> says, Oh, in all caps, Rococo <laughs> Deluxe is a fantastic oh, idea. No. <laughs> the chat has spoken. <laughs> I like how you made sure I knew that it was in all caps. Oh, yeah. It's not just, oh, yeah, that game's okay. (laughs) (laughs) One, two, three. Oh, you got six under there? Oof. Not good. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to wait a little longer, but I... (laughs) It's so hard. I, no, what? Why do you want that? No, 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 no. I, I, it validates that I, sh- I should have gone when I, when I went. Oh, okay. I like because um, you grabbed some rose, some of rose, rosemary out there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that was the. 
He said, to be honest, I'd never played it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I ordered the de- deluxe edition with the coins through a local store. They said it should be here soon. Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's starting to deliver. Um, yeah. It, it, I just love deluxe versions of games, and then I've heard such good things about it. And it's always hard with the deluxe Euro games to really... Par- I have a hard time telling if it's going to be good when I look at it on Kickstarter, but I, for some reason, I for more of the combative games, which are kind of my jam, um, <laughs> I can I get... I can tell if it's going to be good a little bit better, but... Um, well, what do you mean? I, or actually... Okay, let me take my turn, and then, and then I'll tell no, you. No, tell I'm... me while you're t- <laughs> doing the turn. This is a strategy. Talk, uh, talk about your favorite thing, board games. <laughs> <laughs> um, like right now, there is three or four big Euro Kickstarters going on. Um, there's the Journeys of, oh, what's it called? Um, Darwin, and uh, then there's uh, one by Martin Wallace, um, Tinner's Trail. They, I mean, they all look cool, but I just have a hard time telling if they're going to kind of have that, like, special Euro factor that makes them really good. Oh, okay. Um, kind of like uh, Gugong, just, it just is such a satisfying game to play. But, like, I wouldn't have been able, I didn't know that when I looked at the Kickstarter, so I had to go aftermarket and get it. But. Oh, um, I've been hearing great things about Rococo, but having, I think I saw the Kickstarter initially and I was like, oh, that looks like the theme is really well implemented, but not necessarily my number, like Paris, like aristocrats isn't necessarily the, oh, theme, the theme that, I, that, you that, gravitate that towards. gravitates, that I gravitate towards. Plus, uh, yeah, it's just harder to tell. Whereas like if a conflict game has like some buzzwords, like a lot of negotiation and backstabbing, I'm like, oh yeah, this is going to be good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ruel says uh, he's heard really good things about Rococo and mm-hmm. that he also thinks Gugong is solid. Yeah, that was one I, I got the retail version in a trade and then eventually I went on BGG and found myself a Kickstarter edition because... Uh, is really nice version of it. Is that the one with the bribes? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's like when you look at or read the rules, nothing about it like speaks to me. But when I when you're playing it, it's just very satisfying. To... Is it is it the Chinese like like theme? That's probably part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I feel like it it if you have if you know a little bit about the theme, it kind of gets unlocked when you're playing the game. So I think feel like there's that little magical piece of it um Mm -hmm. like cacao my grandpa's farm they they grow a little bit of cacao they started trying to see if they wanted to get into the chocolate market and one time we were just probably cleaning up a board game an uncle came in with fresh um i don't know if it's like i guess it's cacao fruit and he told us to eat the fruit which is very tasty Mm -hmm. um it kind of reminds me of like lychee um and then we were supposed to spit out the seeds so, so that they could process, so they could process it. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, okay, but n- now I just really like cacao. Um, and it's very similar to some other games, but I don't know. There's I something else. Humming. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's your turn. Is it? Oh, wow. Or we're... maybe it's my turn. Oh, no. We got distracted. Um, is there a way to figure this out? Probably I don't think not. So. Um, you know yeah. what? I think there is because you went first mm-hmm. and so it'd be me and then it'd be you because right okay yeah sure oh no is this this is bad because I'm not gonna be able to finish this one I still have two that I haven't potted <laughs> how, did, how did that happen what are we doing okay well let's see I mean I can't can you pot you can pot a few. Yeah. You can uh, you than... can technically pot anything in, in this one. It's it says it doesn't matter. Uh I think even if it's a special one. Oh really? Uh let me double I can double check. It's just not gonna get you those points that the special oh, ones have. Oh got it. So. I'm just worried that the, in these three it's not gonna be anything and you're gonna take this chive from me. <laughs> and that is unacceptable. So you want the chive. Is that what you're 
same shit. Oh, man. I mean, so far, there's only been three of the special cards in here um, that have come out. But we removed so many. We removed 24 cards out of the deck. Oh, for I didn't players, so. realize that we removed them. That makes sense. They could for the people who the people who card count, which is not us. That is not, <laughs> not ever our. Mm, okay, you know what? Defensively, I don't want you. I don't think that they're special. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm... Yeah. Any three herb cards can be potted in this in the glass. So. Okay. You're gonna pot that one. But I can't get a. A scone for it, right? No, okay. Scone. Not even, there's just been a single one point. You know what? I'm gonna do this out. just to make sure that you don't get the scone. Um, okay. Oh wow, saffron. Lots of saffron. Oh, buddy, what am I doing? So I'm gonna go. So I should pot now. The best I can do is three cards in what in, in there. So do I want it to be lavender lavender or saffron? All your pots are full. All oh, so you're full. not gonna so you don't take any more turns once your pots are full. Yeah. So I'll get to choose that card there. <sighs> Okay, I, I guess that, I'm just going to take that turn then. Dill. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a, an <laughs> underwhelming, I had a, I had a thought that I maybe, so it was, was like, <laughs> maybe it was mint or something. <laughs> Good old Dill. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to pop these two cards. I don't know why the Dill being under there is so funny, <laughs> Probably your reaction is. <laughs> uh, Ruel says, uh, have you played Pret a Porter? I haven't played it yet, but heard good things. Uh, we have not played Pret a Porter. Um, that's another one with really cool productions and a unique theme. Um, it's like What's the theme? Fast, uh, I don't know, not fast fashion, but like high fashion mm. is the theme, and you're creating your fashion line. Um, it's a Euro, though. It's like an that, economic Euro game. That's awesome. <laughs> so... Yeah. Why has that not been on <laughs> I can show a it radar? <laughs> it's. I think that's the I've, hard part with Andrew's the one who buys the games. And I think there's been times where we've bought a game just on theme um, at the board game store. And we'll play it and it'll be just fine. But then it doesn't have any legs. Um, so I've learned my lesson because we don't... The games that I'm like, oh, I'm interested in this in the board game store. It like Usually it's not on Andrew's radar, which means... It probably isn't something we'll play often. It might be a game that we'll have fun at the ca board game cafe playing at one time. Mm -hmm. But um, but that is a theme that's very interesting to me. High fashion? Yeah, yeah, that'd be... I mean, if anything, it's just different, which I feel like is... It's always good to see something yeah. doing. Yeah, I heard I heard it as a solid game, so mm -hmm. I think... Um, I'll show it to you. It's, it's... I think Ian O'Toole does the art, which is the guy who did... Uh, the two Five uh, count? No, no, he did Kanban and um, Oh, I like um um that one the Escape Plan. Escape Plan. Yeah. Which are two and games. And Lisboa. That, yeah. Lisboa, yeah, he yeah. did that theme. And he also did the theme for Rococo Deluxe. Oh, oh, whoa! <laughs> Snuck that in there. Also, Ian O'Toole. Ian O'Toole, is that yeah. is that his name? Did Rococo <laughs> Just you know, throwing that one out there. <laughs> Maybe this is this is the stream where Andrew tries to convince me to buy um, more games. This is <laughs> it's like um what is it? It's a uh, psychological warfare on a second <laughs> level. There's the board game and then there's the game that Andrew's gonna try to convince by the end of the stream <laughs> that we should get. I should have a little secret objective. <laughs> Can I get Pia to let me buy? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ruel says Ian O'Toole is awesome. Yes, he, I mean, I I don't think there's a graphic designer, or, I don't know, an art artist in the board game space that I like more right now. But he's very popular. Yeah, actually, 
ever since we started, well, ever since we did paternity leave and um, maternity leave and then streaming, specifically well, because we're home, oftentimes we'll, um, we've been watching your stream while um, eating food. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no, sorry. I'm trying to do math and talk at the same time. <laughs> but um, I, I feel like ever since... Um, like discovering streaming like board games it's been something that like i'm like oh i'd like to play a game like seeing other people play a game like initiates like my interest or motivation i think i'm typically interested but may not be motivated <laughs> but the um i feel like i know more designers now and whatnot we've like talked more about board games mm -hmm. um so odds are in your favor andrew <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Ross says your stream is enabling board game purchases. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> One, two, three, I need to four, use my calculator. Five, I'm gonna move away from. Dude, he's been asleep today. This is great. This... I mean, I love it when he's awake too. So, but it's been fun to. Well, it's get... good when he gets a good nap in, because mm -hmm. then it means he will not be super fussy midday. I keep staring at these. No one has ever focused so hard to score their game of Vermacious. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly distracted. Well, and our cat is also snoring. I oh, was that the cat? I thought yeah. that was. I thought that was the baby. I, that's why I was like, "What are you hearing?" <laughs> Yeah, he's just out, yeah. Yeah, the cat's like doing this the squeaky snores. Mm -hmm. That's Musashi, brave fencing Musashi for uh those who <laughs> are familiar with PlayStation One video games. <laughs> Andrew was telling me this really cool story about Musashi the Ronin, um and uh historical figure in Japan, and then Andrew also then... Oh my gosh, you got 54 again? Yeah. Oh, I got 41, yes. I did it worse. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but he, after he started convincing me that Musashi was a good name because of this historical figure, he also disclosed that it was a PlayStation 1 game that he played in his youth that he really liked. <laughs> so that's why our cat's name is Musashi. And there's a Musashi, like a sushi place that's Musashi's, that yeah, people think a... we named her after, but we've, yeah. we the named truth her. Is, the, the truth <laughs> is not. Uh, Ruel says, uh, definitely Michelle has always been a casual gamer, but after streaming regularly, she knows more designers too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no. Enabling, you, you, yeah, for it's, sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's enabling. Um, yeah, I think you, yeah, you'd consider yourself a casual. Do you want to mm -hmm. play again? Do you think we can get three games in? I don't know. I mean, why not? It's yeah. it's. Let's go Very for it. pleasant. Um, it's yeah, an easy I would one say. To replay. Yeah, I would say I was, I'm a casual gamer specifically because I think if there is a game going and that's what everyone's doing, then I'll usually play. But I prefer to just sit and hang out and talk. Mm -hmm. So games like this where it can be chatty in between turns. I mean, we're having a hard time remembering whose turn it is. That's probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think these are, you forget that. I'm like, oh, that was like, we got three games in. That's pretty, it yeah. feels like fun slash productive. I'm going to just double check that it's 24 that we removed. Because it's always weird that there's just one card at the end. Yeah, two players, 24 cards. Yeah. Unless we're forgetting something, or we're, no, we're like distracted and grab, maybe grabbing one and. Um, no, I think it's it's happened every time, so I think it's designed that way. Mm. But do you want to start this time? Yeah. Not going for the lavender, eh? Nope. Dill. Okay. I'm going to hitch my horse to Dill this time. <laughs> Dill forever! Because <laughs> it's what came out last, last time. What's up, Sage? Rosemary. 
Ooh, Rose. It's yeah, this is definitely a game that feels like, because even the back of the card is really pretty. I like it. Um, it feels like playing with art. Um, that's something we, we we have some friends, and it's a mixed group of um, casual gamers and like people that will play pretty heavy games. And what was the game? It was the Fuji. What is it? The 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 exploding, um, <laughs> like mountain or the, oh yeah, just the, the yeah Fuji. Fuji. Fuji is a little co-op game. I don't know if you've heard of it. But um, we were trying to decide between a game. Oh, uh, Ruel says, "Okay, gotta go. Fun hanging out with y'all. Really appreciate the laid back and chill vibes. <laughs> and the board game purchase enabling is great. Yes, thanks for joining us, Ruel. <laughs> thanks for joining Ruel. Uh, it's Have a good fun Sunday." Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, but we were trying to pick between some games, and um, I I went. Okay. He gave us the little the <laughs> hand hearts. Uh, Wait. Let me double check. One, two, three. Yeah, I think I think you went. Okay. Yeah. Um. But anyways, we were trying to decide between a game, and Fuji has really beautiful art, and so um. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, man. Um, really beautiful art, so we ended up picking it. And um, it was a... It was just an example of, like, there were a lot of good games and maybe some probably better games on the table, but the art was the tipping point. Um, and it was fun because it was, again, like playing with art, it was... Um, beautiful to look at and all the pieces and all the components mm -hmm. yeah that's a really distinctive art style for fuji yeah i really the like the art style in that it's also a really interesting gameplay um yeah i had a really hard time figure like <laughs> understanding it yeah it's one of those games that the first time you read the rule you have to read 10 times because you've never seen anything like it you're like you have to do what <laughs> if, if the the rule is like you add like the sum of your dice have to be lower than the two people on your left and right. Or so I, I can't remember the details of it, but um, it's definitely unique. And it's it's fun because you're trying to all kind of read each other and figure out uh, that you're not over... Um, you're not screwing your neighbors because it's cooperative. Uh, okay. I already did that one. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Oh, dang. Who shuffled this? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Keep pulling them. Because I, can't. I want to score the most points that I can. But Pia could grab them too. Oh man, this. Is, uh, There's a lot of good tension in this. On my score still. Let's see. The losing score. We're at 54 minutes. This That's is, crazy. This is a, I think a record for a midday nap. Um, oh, I don't know what I should do here. Four is pretty good already. Ooh, look at that. This is painful. It, it's so easy to get caught by your greed in this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm so close to getting a higher score, but if I let it sit there... It is tough. You know, it's, it's all still pretty fun. Oh, no. 
<laughs> no! Oh my gosh. Oh. Now here's Was the that thing. three pairs? And then. Um. There were four dills I could have. <laughs> Dill screws me again. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even think about that. That would have been a good defensive move. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it. Dill, Dill screws me again. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. It's really hard to get all of the same. Yeah. That's a tough one. It's because you keep wanting to use it for other Yeah, combos. for other things. Yeah, you're like, oh, there's pairs over here. And if we both grab pairs, it's four cards out of one. Um. Just keep on keeping on. You've done your pairs. Oh yeah, that's a good thing to check. What am I up to? Is it safe in the community garden? <laughs> <laughs> the dangerous community garden. Box. How many was that? Four. I think I could have kept kept going, but I was too scared. Too. Oh, we both had them. Yeah. Yeah, I saw you, <laughs> and I thought this is not going to end well. <laughs> and it didn't for me. <laughs> Man, I can't believe he's still asleep. Um. Yeah, we're at fifty. We could have played minutes. a longer game. Not that that's also a little bit scary too. But it's also like if he wakes up, serves us right for trying to play a long game. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're about to finish. Um, Knock on wood, three games of this. This is, mm -hmm. this is great. We still have a viewer out there. I'm not sure who that is. But a if you're here, viewer. yeah, I mean, you don't have to chat, but if you'd like to chat, we always love uh, hearing from you. What are you up to? Are you eating any herbed biscuits? <laughs> How many pairs did you get? Oh, I don't know if that's public knowledge. I choose Can not I... to disclose that information. Can I? <laughs> okay. This is different, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm a little scared, so I'm gonna go for it. Saffron, rosemary, bay, dill. No. Oh, All dill. the cards. Oh my gosh. Ah. I should have done it last I'm turn. I'm too greedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This game rewards um, paranoia. <laughs> it, does. it really does. <laughs> oh no. I just assume the worst from you. Okay. Herbaceous, well. the game that rewards paranoia. It's a good day for the baby. It's getting good napping. It's a good day for me. 
And it's a good day for Andrew because he got to play some board games. <laughs> some card games, I guess. Okay, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it this turn. I'm not waiting any longer. So we've got one pair, two pairs, three pairs. Four pairs. Oh, shoot. <gasps> Five pairs. Oh. Six pairs. Wow. That's good. That was good. It paid off the patience. I'm gonna. Oh, and then I still did my turn. Do I? She, you, you don't pull any more cards after her after you. Do I get the special points? Yeah, no, only. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get these special points. So six, seven points in addition, yeah. But I don't get this. No, only if you got the one, two, and three. Okay, then I'm not going to do that yet. See, look, now there's only one, there's no more cards left. Oh, it was even, yeah. Yeah, maybe we messed it up. I think that one goes into your. Oh yes, yes, yes. Sorry. It's okay. And so then so I can't put it in. You can. Okay. So we each pot our and oh, got potting it. our plants. Oh, I did, I didn't realize um, that there's so a possibility that you can't. Yeah. No one gets the biscuit. Yeah. I'm gonna just put that for my glass jar. All right, let's add up the score. Use our we, calculator because we, we don't know. We cannot do math <laughs> when um, we are on camera. They need a little score pad. Oh shoot, I'm doing Fifty-three. Oh my gosh, thirty-six. I'm counting this right, right? Like yeah. if it's if it's pairs, you count each card, right? Like, it's uh, not yeah, like yeah, two yeah. pairs. Yeah, yeah, no, it's each, it's, it's each okay, card. Okay. Yeah. So if you have six yes. pairs, then you get eighteen points. Awesome. Six pairs. How many pairs did you get? How many pairs did I get? Mm -hmm. Or how many cards did you have under there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Am I mathing this wrong? So eight, if it's eight, sixteen cards. points, yeah, or fourteen points. Fourteen. Sorry. Okay, so it's not like um. Yeah, they're all just just whatever column you're in. Okay, yeah. I needed to double check because I don't know how I've been winning so much. <laughs> <laughs> just rubbing it. <laughs> if in. I was winning this definitively, there must have been something I was doing wrong. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> it's your paranoia. It's your paranoia. <laughs> Looks like you're waking up just slowly. Do you want to call it? Yeah, let's call it. I'm got I gotta call it while I'm ahead. Not <laughs> I've won three times, so I was trying to give you a best out of. Did I win yesterday when we played? Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But all right. Well, yeah. thanks. Thank you, everyone. Uh, mostly Ruel for joining the stream. Um, yeah. There's someone else here watching. Um, 
feel free to join us anytime we're doing this. Our midday ones are going to be well... Unpredictable our, at best. Yeah. <laughs> unpredictable. They might be five minutes and they might be an hour and five minutes. It, like it, this one, it so. almost was five minutes. Yeah. It was almost five minutes and then he went to sleep. So, um, And then we're, we do, I think, Monday and Thursdays. We're trying to be consistent and then... An occasional Friday will also be streaming, um, and that's when we put we are a bit more ambitious, and it's after the baby goes to bed. So, uh, thanks again, and we will cheers, and see you next time. <laughs>